Chica was a great man, but we had our differences, and I stick by my opinion. You think I fucking enjoy this shit? <laughs> think again. This is the war. Anybody who enjoys war is beyond fucking sick. Okay? Only reason I would have any kind of relief about it, relief from my pain, not really enjoyment, is that we have to have this war. Because if the aggressor keeps attacking, I'm not just going to let the, all the churches get blown up. No, 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 no. We're going to hit Boko Haram where they feel it. You're not the only self-righteous bastard who can declare a war for God and start fucking targeting his enemies. And those who are close to his enemies. I'm the one holding all those self-righteous motherfuckers back. And there's a few out there who have nothing to do with me. More than a few. The majority. So don't you get it twisted. This war can be fought by the pen, my friends. Shikal, Ibrahim, Shikal, Imar, Emir, Ibrahim, Shikal, of Wali Jihad. This war can be fought peacefully or by the sword. Your color is red, my color is blue. You like green? I like green too. The only difference is the context in which it's used. We can use the white and make peace. Or we can fucking hunt each other down and use all our little tricks and cause a lot of pain and suffering for our own people. We can do it that way too. Shit. This is fucking hell anyway. It's going to happen anyway. Either way you want to do it, she-cow. Either fucking way. You think just because the white man is going to put me in his cage or is going to give me a hard time that I don't have the fucking wind to go after you? Why do you think I allocated all my troops to defense here and abroad? Because I know how you fucking think. And you're not going to make your move while I'm not looking, she cow. Or we're going to have a serious fucking problem. You and that faggot fucking spokesman. You know, the aqua motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Aqua the, you know what I'm saying? Aki motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You guys collaborating with Iran and, you know what I'm saying? Some of the Turags see it your way. I'm not going to say all the Turags see it your way. But yeah, I'm sure some of the Turags see it your way. But who gives a flying fuck? Is the bottom line. Okay, that has nothing to do with fucking Gaddafi. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these motherfuckers trying to say, oh, Gaddafi, Boko Haram, you know, the terrorist movement. Gaddafi wasn't with Al-Qaeda. It's like Assad isn't with Al-Qaeda. It's like it came out in the fucking news that Al-Qaeda is collaborating with the fucking terrorists. And while, while all the Western journalists are saying, oh, Assad is so bad, it's on record that Al-Qaeda is among the protesters. What the fuck you think is going on? You think Al-Qaeda all of a sudden became fucking a saint? You know, they all of a sudden became the good guys? They all of a sudden became Superman? They became the fucking X-Men all of a sudden? What the fuck you think happened? What the fuck you think is going on? The terrorists are collaborating with the other terrorists to push out the assholes and say, hey, that guy's an asshole. To make you forget about the fact that they're the terrorists collaborating with the terrorists. What the fuck you think is going on? Yeah, he's an asshole, but they're bigger fucking assholes. If you don't believe me, check the history books and do the math. Add up the body count, pal. Who kills all the people? The fucking white man and his tool society and his Freemasonic structure. 60 million motherfuckers. World War II. And arguably 20 million motherfuckers. World War I. Who is responsible for this death count? Who is responsible for this body count? The characteristics of a mental disorder most fit the people who are pointing the finger at everyone else. 
oh, this guy got a mental disorder because he doesn't like my psycho policies. Or this guy has a mental disorder because he doesn't like the fact that when Israel gets depressed, they want to bomb the shit out of Iran. Or this guy has a mental disorder because he doesn't like the fact. He's, he's bipolar because one minute he's happy and the next when the bank, he finds out the bankers are raping him up the ass, he screams out in agony. So he's fucking bipolar. Let's drug him up. Let's put him in an institution so we can continue our control over the bootlickers. Either you're a bootlicker or you're a prisoner. Either you're a bootlicker or you're a future prisoner. Because in this society, where the devil calls shots, you're either bootlicking on the devil's behalf, bootlicking on your own behalf, or bootlicking out of fear on behalf of your people.